All right, let's move away from products or physical products from cameras. There's plenty of applications and services that people provide, especially as photographers, um, in order to make money. And that could be classes, that could be uh, Lightroom filters and presets, that could be, you know, tutorials, things like that. And I think that's all great ways for creators uh, to make money. Um, I think, and you think you can learn a lot from it. Like people kind of like crap on presets, but presets help a lot. Like it's not just like applying the preset and it's perfect because very rarely is a preset like that. It does get you like half the way there and you can do some tweaks and then you can understand how those, those settings work. But like stepping into Lightroom, for me, having a few presets there to help guide me along the way of how to get like how to shoot something in golden hour or how to shoot something in low light or how to shoot something with a lot of blues was super helpful because it helped me understand how to use the sliders, how to adjust things, how to balance things out a little bit better. So I, I found a lot of value in that. So, you know, if you have a favorite creator and you're liking their styles, picking up their their presets is not just a great way to, to um, support them. It's also a great way to understand their thinking and how they approach a problem. And I think that's something that's really great. So again, I'm just going into some of these blind, um, but some of these might be useful, but I'm guessing based on like at least the, the cover page, judging a book by its cover, um, they might be trash. So let's see. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to mute this because it might uh, be copyright. Uh, so this app solves one problem. I mean, it probably does a bunch of other stuff, but this problem that I see here is that if you ever had a bunch of vacation pictures or awesome landscapes that you took pictures with, with your ex, you can Photoshop them out. You can use this app to erase them from your life and your pictures. Um, <laughs> that's what basically this ad is showing. Um, it's interesting. Um, but what you're, what you're seeing here is that like, obviously this is the best representation of what they can do through the app. But even when you look at like this hanging guy, they erase the person, but you can still see the remnants. If you zoom in enough, you can see the remnants of that guy. And even after they color correct it and do all this other stuff, you can still see that like outline of where he used to be. So like in your advertisement, if you can't even fake it to look nice, I don't know how well this app's going to perform. And you know, if you're trying to really just reclaim your pictures. I don't know if this is the way to go. You probably just want to learn Photoshop. It's a longer learning curve, but you get better results and that's what's going to matter because, you know, as long as your your arm is not around them and you just have a chopped off arm, um, you can do that in Photoshop. It just, it just takes a few YouTube videos and you can get it pretty easy. It's like not too difficult. Um, uh, this is the lazy man's way to do it. But again, if they can't get it right in their ad, I doubt uh, the normal person could get it right. So skip on this one promise you photoshop's the better way to go okay i don't know i was looking at this ad and i was like who would do this and i guess like maybe if you're making posters or assets and stuff like that but it just seems like dude scanned tape and now you can use said tape on your projects. Couldn't I just scan tape? Maybe he has a really nice scanner. I don't know. It sounds like there's a lot of detail in these things, but let's check his website. Let's check his, his real stuff. Uh, I need to find it. What's this dude's name? Dan Robinson photo tape. Dan Robinson tape textures. 24 bucks, 195. It's like eight cents a an asset. Okay, so I mean, to me, if you need it, I guess it's a fast way to speed up your workflow and get like that edge that you need. I just don't understand why you'd need this. For me, I just, you know, but I mean, I'm not super creative, so I just edit photos to shot like, you know, 
make them look nice in a holistic perspective. But I guess if you're making posters or you're making some cool assets, uh, that might be beneficial. I don't know. Is $24 worth it for you for tape? For 195 tape styles? I just don't see this a lot. Like in pictures and stuff. So I can't justify this. But maybe you can. If you will use tape in your pictures, let me know. If you think this is worthwhile. I just can't see it. That was weird to me. That tape. Scan tape, no less. I mean... Most of the people that would use this are creative people. Could you not just scan your own tape? Could you not figure out how to do this? Again, it'll probably, if you need it, it'll it'll speed up your workflow, just like most of these presets and assets do. But couldn't you do that? Uh, I don't know. Imagine if you could create a simple posing workflow process to create stunning photos of any subject. I'm Scott so like, Robert Lim. Sony I see a lot of these things, and maybe it's like the Instagram age, and maybe people. Are I have over this. 70 international but awards, is it hard including to pose the top people? 10 in I don't really have issues and the that. Kodak Award. Um, in the beginning of my career, I was. Man, I wonder how old that dude is. I hope I have hair like that when I'm his age. I was absolutely terrible at posing. Over my 20 year career, I've turned my failure into a successful method that has created hundreds of award-winning shots. Learn to quickly pose your subjects and know how to break down each pose. I mean, look at not at some of his photos. Like, I get, like to me, I don't think that I've had all that much issues posing people for photos. I mean, I had issues people being comfortable putting themselves in that position and being vulnerable. But uh, not so much like having an idea. And I think like in a lot of instances for posing, you can probably just do some Google searching and find that stuff. However, it sounds like he's he's bringing the methodology. So like when you talk about subjects and metering and site or no, not sorry subjects and spacing and you know perspectives um, and things like that, if he's giving a methodology, I can understand why this might be uh, useful. Quickly pose your subjects and know how to break down each pose to guarantee results with almost any body type. Right. So if you're new to event photography and like for for weddings, some of this stuff is cool. Like if you can pose them right and so show them stunningly in a unique way, those photos come out way better than just the like, you know, like cookie cutter like standard wedding photos um but if you can get some like sort of dynamic or dramatic posing um and lighting especially uh you can get some really dope pictures and that, that they tell a story a lot better so i can see how this might be beneficial from there if he explains how it happens i can't wait to enable you to better tell your visual story through your portraits Okay, how much is this? Uh, let's go to his courses. Ooh. Posing Masterclass. 197 books. That's not the same one. But he's got a bunch here. Prime Lenses Masterclasses. So, I mean, if you've never done a Masterclass, they're actually pretty good. They're, they're not only well-produced, but they're... they're the tidbits of knowledge you pick up are good. I've, tr I've tried a few, um, like Jake Shimabukuro's ukulele one had a lot of good, um, you know, strumming techniques, fingerings, uh, things that I picked up. And it's also like from the cooking perspective, a lot of the cook ones are really good. Um, like the bread making ones, Gordon Ramsay's one is pretty solid. Um, picked up a lot of good techniques and a lot of good like um, pairings to sort of, help understand cooking a little bit better. I could imagine the same things with photography, see, because there's a huge science behind it as well. Um, but it seems like he's has a bunch of these. So like sky replacement texture, like so he, he'll break down every little piece, retouchings, like the edit post pictures. So a lot of this I can see needing that in 197. Sounds pricey, but it's actually not too bad. If you're thinking about it, it's 25 bucks a lesson. How much did you spend on music lessons back in the day? Probably more than 25 bucks so doing this ain't that bad but this not the that wasn't the, the one so this is the one that he was promoting is 27 bucks as ebook so 
So yeah, I mean, if he goes over like the science behind what, why he does it, um, then I think that's good. Um, 27 bucks probably could be cheaper, but I think there was something about the Instagram that was special. Let me go back to that video really quick. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I remember I recorded this. So if you actually go to their Instagram, you can get this for free by just signing up. I think the way that Scott's probably doing this is saying that, like, yo, let me give you a taste of what I can do and what I can teach you. And if you like my style, I have other stuff for you. So he, you can not spend 27 bucks and get this guide for free by signing up via email, get instant access. However, if you want to see his other stuff, you got to pay. <laughs> so I think this is just sort of a teaser. Your foot in the door to see how he does stuff. If you're and if you vibe with it, if you feel like you can learn from him, he has other stuff available for you at obviously a little bit more expensive, ah, decently more expensive price, but maybe valuable to you. Um, so for like something like this, I do appreciate like I think free ebooks are a great way to build an audience and build, um, you know, a following as well as build a customer set. A lot of people do ebooks um, as a way to do that, and I think it's a good way for people to understand you before committing to you. And I think that probably gives you longer longevity of uh, retention of those people um, in the long run. Um, so I like this strategy. I'm definitely down with this. Um, yeah. Maybe I'll check out one of his classes one day. But some of that stuff looks cool. Oh, my God. And this is the whole reason why I wanted to make this video. This last one, 365 photography posing cards. So to me, this should be like 10 bucks, like a little bit more expensive than a bicycle playing deck. Um, and it's not. So let's talk about this website. Can we talk about this website, please? Okay. <sighs> okay. 836 photography posting cards. So you get smart use version, which they mean is an app. It's an app. You can access this and look at it online. 16 categories, print able, not printable, printable. And you have mobile access, which sounds kind of redundant, but you know, whatever. Um, printable. Yo, can you get someone to check your website before you sell stuff on it? Come on. Come on. And then the other thing that I want you to check here is this is on sale for 33 bucks from 340 bucks. Who the hell would buy photography posing cards for that much money? You're just literally showing them how to pose. Unlike the other guy who's going to tell you the science and his methodology and his thought train about how to pose people. This is just showing you a picture to replicate. So what I want you guys to remember is this is 340, right? And we're getting it for 33 bucks. We're going to go over a little bit of this stuff, but we will see something that shows you how crap this website is. So simple to easy to use, shows you the pose, gives you a little blurb, blah, 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 blah. Um, all this stuff is dumb. You can get it on an app again. $33 app sounds like a lot um, for posing. And 18 categories. Yes, yes, yes. Smart to use. Also mobile use. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, here's what it was. Do you remember how much it was before? How much? It was? It's the same price. It's still $33 for us today. However, $240 from $240. If you look at the top, it's $340. This is the same page. They did not proofread this. This gotta be a scam website. Such a trash website. It's not only a trash product, trash website, trash execution. This this stuff annoys me. This is the biggest cra cash grab I've seen of all of them. A lot of them, you know, like it's like back and forth, but this one definitely don't buy this. This is stupid. God, it's annoying. <laughs> so yeah, those are all the camera things that I had that were whack. Actually, not many of them were whack. Some of them had some pretty decent uh, offerings there, and some of them were imperfect. Um, but yeah, definitely like the Platypod. I'm, I might check that out at some point. But yes, 
I'm gonna take them out of my saved on my Instagram. Hopefully I'll get some new ads. And if we have to do another one of these whack Wednesdays, we will have a new set of things to look at. Um, if you guys do have weird advertisements, weird products, strange Kickstarters, anything, send them my way. I'll have a look at them and uh, we'll see what we think as a, as a group about them. I think that would be a cool community out effort. Um, but yeah, if you're new here, definitely consider subscribing, liking, commenting, doing all the things that you normally do on a video that you like and love. And if you are returning, thank you guys for sticking with me. I appreciate all the comments. Uh, I've been loving talking with you guys. And the fact that you guys have been really helping me push towards that 1,000. So um, for anyone who doesn't know, we are trying to get 1,000 subs by the end of March. So if you can, help me get there. That'd be lovely. Uh, otherwise, just that, keep tuning out on my videos. I do like seeing your guys' faces and starting to see more and more regulars, which is super fun. Uh, but yeah, I uh, hope you guys stick with me. I'll see you next week. And uh, yeah, as always, appreciate you.